hey boo hi guys hey guys what's up guys hey to my guys my ghouls my gays the days and the thems so that was a mouthful i had to make sure i got everybody As you can see, I'm not in my regular setup because I'm not home. I am currently traveling as I am making this video. When you're seeing it, I should be home. I don't know yet, but just assume that I'm back home. Anywho, that's why my background is different. But I still wanted to give y'all content for the new year because the first two weeks or so, I'm probably not gonna put up anything considering that, you know, I'll have probably just come back or I just got a lot to sort through and I'm planning content. Which brings us to the topic of today's video, preparing for 2022. My teeth look extra white today. Mm. Normally I have my notebook. I don't know, I forgot to pack my notebook. Already starting off on a bad start. <laughs> so I just got paper. So if I look down, it's here. I didn't put it in my phone for various reasons because honestly, I just didn't want to type it. It was easier. And I like pen and paper, y'all know that. So starting off with how I'm preparing for, first of all, this is how I'm preparing for 2022, but how I plan to work through 2022 to the best of my ability to maximize content, maximize my time and scheduling, and maximize what you guys are seeing to the best of my ability to you guys get the best quality content that I can possibly put out. Okay, all right. If I look a little sweaty, it's cause I went for a very dewy look today. By the way, I have like faux freckles, if you can see them. I went for something very cutesy. So yeah. All right, so enough rambling. Number one, daily and weekly planner. I get one every year, but the last two years, I will say I've been a lot better with using it. So this year I'm about to be on top of it. Everything in this planner. You wanna talk to me? You wanna schedule something? Tell me, give me at least a week notice so I can put it in this planner and I know and I can plan accordingly, okay? Okay, good. Moving on, social media planner. I do have a social media planner. I just bought one and it's like a full size book. It does, it covers Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and you know, shorts and all that stuff. So I can plan my videos, my posts, all of that. So I'm telling y'all, trying to do the best for y'all and for myself, but for y'all, okay? Budgeting. I had started budgeting. I even like, Stephen kind of my, so, my, my financial advisor, um, honestly, probably gonna switch that he'll be partially involved now and I think I'm gonna just ask my brother to help me I don't know I gotta swallow some pride there but I gotta budget better because this needs to really get it together I've been saying I want to move out for the last two years and I haven't really made much efforts because you know I've been using my fame as a safety net and I gotta be honest with myself I need to stop doing that I'm getting older and I'm almost 30 because this year I turned 27 <laughs> yeah so budgeting will be happening this year which leads me into my personal assignment i already started a project pan last year it's been going okay um that's why i haven't really updated you guys on it but i'm gonna be better with the updates this year because i plan on making it through things why because i'm on a no buy meaning <laughs> makeup will be not bought so there'll be a lot of anti hauls this year on this particular channel as well as like on my TikTok and my Instagram, but here I'm gonna start doing anti-hauls. And um, yeah, we gonna shop my stash a lot, okay? That's what's gonna be in a lot of these titles, shopping my stash, because I do have a lot. Um, so Project Pan will be updated very well, very much so. And I have a lot of new makeup to try anyway, so it gives me a lot of content to try to do anyway, because I have enough that I haven't even opened yet. So there you go. Moving on. I'm gonna try and do better at marketing myself so I can, you know, get these brands to notice this, all right? I want y'all to notice me. I wanna grow my following on all my socials. And I want these brands to be like, oh, she's small, but she mean business. So marketing myself will definitely be one of the things that I'm working on. Being consistent, being more consistent before I take a break, okay? Cause that also goes into taking, knowing when to take a step back. That's a completely different bullet on here, but the two go hand in hand. Um, I wanna be, consistent enough that you guys know when to expect things so you know when to come back but also enough that when I do take a break you still have content to go and watch and it's not like I just ghosted y'all 
because if I'm consistent, then that means I'll be good at pre-filming. So even when I am taking a break, all I have to do is just promote it. I don't have to worry about sitting down scheduling X, Y, Z. I'm just chilling and just hit post. So that's the thing. Taking myself more seriously. I realize I can't expect people to take me seriously if I don't take myself more seriously because I'd be talking about, oh, I want to do social media full time, X, Y, and Z. I don't even make, I have to sit down and be real with myself. Are you making content consistently? Are you genuinely sitting down, planning, preparing, coming up with new ideas, jumping on trends? Are you doing any of that? The answer was no. I wasn't really doing that. I mean, over the summer, I was a lot more consistent because I wasn't working, but now I gotta figure out how to, this is why scheduling comes into play to be more consistent to take myself more seriously if I take myself more seriously you guys will take me more seriously because it will reflect in my work and I am one that takes pride in their work ethic okay so therefore I need to apply what I do in my regular jobs to this because people like me in my regular jobs and I don't even know why but I, know, I do know why it's because I do my job and I go home that's why <laughs> which leads me into my next bullet point which is working harder than I did last year. So I did put in a quite a, I, I put in work last year in the sense of I put out a fair amount of content on all my platforms, but I did decide to take TikTok and Instagram more seriously, like mid to end summer, end of summer. So that's why I didn't grow as much as I wanted to because I started so late. So this year starting from this point on, I will be, you know, out here working harder to do that, taking all of my stuff seriously, looking at my analytics, trying to find the best times to post, all that wonderful stuff, asking for more help. Speaking of which, I need to also ask my homie for more music, for background, for my videos, so you guys have a little bit more diversity, because I also might want to use them in a TikTok. I don't know, but I know that I want variety. I want some r and I want some, you know, and he's lit. Um, I will put him, I will put his tag. I try to always put his tag in the background of the video, like in the description box of the video that I do use music in. Sometimes it's hard to, for me to remember, but he also, I also let him, I don't mind him putting like his tag in the music. So when I'm doing voiceovers or like, if it's just you watching me and you hear like, like how you know, like and Megan's music is like, you know, it's lit if you, Lil Juke made it. Yeah, like that. He puts his in there like that. I'm fine with him doing that. Promote yourself, boo. I don't mind. I'm not talking. Let everybody hear what your name is. And I will try my best to remember to put it in the description box of every video that I use music in because that's on me. And I'm sorry because that's not my intention to just like leave him hanging like that because he is lit. He's a really good producer. He's an actual music producer, by the way. So if you wanted to use something from him, you would have to pay him. Just understand that. He and I are cool. We're friends. But he's an actual music producer. Like he works for Rough Riders. Yeah, DMX Rough Riders. Yeah. RIP. So yeah, don't sleep on my homies. <laughs> you don't know who I know. I want to make a name for myself um, in the busty community, I guess. I want to model more lingerie from various places that quote unquote cater to plus size women. I want, you know, I want the cute stuff. I want, I want the cute stuff. I want, this is why I say I gotta take myself more seriously. I want to be playful promises. I want to be a brand ambassador. Savage and Fenty, I would love to be an ambassador for that. Cause I'm a mid-sized girl, but I got some little fluffy, I got some, I got some plus size girl tendencies, like my belly and my back that and stuff like that. But I got plus size boobs. So I'd like to be able to show people like, look, the girls got some support in other places. Y'all are not limited to just Lane Bryant. Okay. And Ross and Torrid. And Torrid is not even that good. Okay. Torrid don't got no support. That's all I'm saying. I'm not even going to, because everybody been shitting on Torrid, rightfully so though. But yeah, that's that's the goal. So y'all finna see more undie pics from me because I love them and they make me feel good. And I'm out here trying to help women find places where, you know, even though you got huge titties, you know, we could still look cute like the ones with no titties. That's all I'm saying. Lastly, I need to want to overall have to speak to my loved ones more often for instance my godmother <laughs> which i feel like she watches my videos <laughs> both my godmothers my auntie prudence and my my godmother sandra um 
different relationships with each of them, but both wonderful women who have definitely impacted like my perspective on life on how like they operate and just like their friendships with my mom. I'm hoping that like Christy Alden and Morgan and I are like them. Like they talk relatively every day, almost every day, even though they live in three different places and they still close. Like they know what's going on in each other's lives. I love it. They all have kids. I mean, all their kids is grown now, but they like raise their kids together, all that stuff. And they've been through a lot together, okay? So I need to speak to them more, especially now that as I'm, as I'm getting older and I'm thinking about marriage and potentially kids, don't quote me on that, potentially kids though. Um, I need to make sure that I have my village down pat and you know, I have good relationships and good standings with the women that help mold who I am today because they've been around my, my whole life. So yeah, I gotta do that. Shout outs to them because I know they watch my videos. Shout outs to y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. Um, I don't need to talk to my mother any more than I already do because I talk to her pretty much every day, every other day. <laughs> we talk a lot, okay? Like I know that part of my village is secure. My mom, my mom is like my best friend. So yeah, even my best friends know my mom. So like they, it's not a secret. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's kind of how I plan on working through 2022. Prepping and actually executing is two different things. So I will keep you updated on that. With all that rambling done. Hmm. Um, I'll see y'all next time. And until then, in the new year, cause that will most likely be next year. Happy New Year. Happy and happy safe and healthy New Year. That's number one. Wear your mask, please. Wear your mask. Um, stay vigilant because people is crazy out here in these streets. Stay strong because things are getting wild in these streets and your family members are going to need you to help support them. If anything, emotionally, mentally, physically, I don't know, but you know, stay strong. That's why I said stay healthy, eat right, work out, you know, meditate, get yourself mentally together, like do the whole thing. I'm gonna try and work out this year again, cause y'all know I like the little fitness a year and a half ago this year. I don't know what happened, but I was doing a little fitness earlier on, but we gonna try. And as always, stay beautifully here.